The Economist. In Zimbabwe, a power-sharing government between Morgan Changarai of the MDC and Robert Mugabe of ZANU-PF has survived for 18 months, longer than many people had expected. There are some signs of recovery in Zimbabwe. We wanted to find out more about what's happening inside Zimbabwe and about its relations with the rest of the world. So we had Morgan Changarai, the Prime Minister, in for tea. Prime Minister, welcome to Tea with the Economist. Thank um, you. Your coalition government has been in office since the formation of the uh, power sharing agreement. Yeah. Do you see stability in Zimbabwe today? Yes, let me, let me say that the, when the inclusive government was formed, there was a burst. There was a burst of enthusiasm about the new opportunities. But since then, they, we, we have uh, slid back uh, slightly into stagnation because uh, people started questioning about this and about that. And the lack of full, full implementation of the global political agreement also added to this negative assessment of the situation. But we have since moved on. Um, the government, the inclusive government is consolidated, uh, is discharging its responsibility uh, in making sure that uh, the economy is stabilized, the social sectors are rehabilitated. So I can only say that uh, the country can only move forward uh, rather than backwards. But much depends on your personal relationship with Robert Mugabe. Uh, we've heard reports that there are disagreements between the two of you at times. You have great frustrations in how Mr. Mugabe behaves. How would you describe the relationship between the two of you? Well, the two of us, uh, our relationship is based on business. We, we interact on a business on the agenda of government. Uh, and, and I think we've all st strived, uh, tried very hard to make sure that we put the national interest before our own partisan interests. And uh, to that extent, I think we've had a, a successful working relationship given our past. And that past is obviously very difficult and there have been great disagreements between you before. So you sit down at a table with him as you're sitting with me now and you're able to discuss in a perfectly reasonable manner what needs to be done. Oh yeah, yes, yes, certainly. Uh, we disagree, but we disagree respectfully. Uh, and, and as somebody said, in our Shona culture, it's always good for a young person to be respectful of the older person. That way you are able to have a good body language, you are able to converse on some of our own personal, personal situations. He has got his frustrations, I have got mine. But what is the general thrust uh, of government is to ensure that the transition works, doesn't slide back. And the big challenge in the next year or so will be preparing for the next election. That has the great potential for more division, more conflict perhaps. I don't think so. I think that uh, uh, the roadmap is agreed. We'll have a, uh, the outreach program, we'll have a constitutional referendum, and we'll have an election. What is important is for all parties to agree on the benchmarks uh, in order to have a legitimate and a credible outcome. Uh, that's what SADAC expects, that's what AU expects, and that's what the people of Zimbabwe expect. And the benchmarks that you would like to see, we talked about them previously, but what sort of things will you say are essential? Well, an independent, an independent electoral commission, a new voters' role, peace and stability in the country, uh, a conduct which is beyond reproach, uh, and an outcome which is not going to be contestable. Can I ask you too about relations with other countries? Yeah. Between Britain and Zimbabwe there's a, a difficult history, um, but some say there's a possibility with a new conservative government in Britain for warmer relations than we've seen in previous years. Do you well, see... I've, I've, never, I've never known the British foreign policy to be based on the change of government, uh, because they believe in continuity of foreign policy. So. What the previous government has done is to set the isolation of, of Zimbabwe uh, together with the EU partners. Uh, what we have said is that time has come for them to review that position and to re-engage Zimbabwe, uh, which the re-engagement I launched in June last year. So we are hoping that, yes, there may be an opportunity for the Conservative government to review its position of government uh, in view of uh, the latest developments. That's quite positive. And if those can, be lead, can lead to uh, a reopening of relations, that would be the most welcome. And so would you like to see the targeted sanctions lifted? Yes, of course, uh, they have to, uh, as part of the global political agreement, but it is to be mutually reinforcing together with what we are doing in Zimbabwe. 
But as far as the removal of sanctions, the removal of these restrictive measures, uh, is something that we, as a political parties, agreed. And last of all, South Africa, hugely influential in the region, has been trying to lead a mediation effort or a, an effort to encourage further progress in Zimbabwe. Do you think that uh, the South Africa's government is playing a productive role at the moment? Well, I think of late they've, they've come out with a, a good exit strategy out of the crisis, which is a, a new phenomenon in South Africa mediation efforts. Uh, South Africa has to take this because it's not only a, a foreign policy issue, it is a domestic issue as far as they are concerned. So I think they've found interest, they've found a way of breaking the ice and moving forward. And it's in South Africa's interest because uh, there are many... Perhaps, Zimbabweans, yeah. Yeah. Uh, possibly two million Zimbabweans in South Africa. I don't know the number, the number is still contestable. Prime Minister, thank you very much for having tea with the economist. Yeah. Thanks. In an unusually frank conversation, Morgan Changarai spoke about his relationship with President Robert Mugabe and Zimbabwe's ties with Britain, two relationships which will be tested again in the next couple of years. Thank you.